Hey guys, welcome back. In a previous video you saw me work on this air compressor and you saw that we had it running and that it built up some pressure but uh, after a while the motor ceased up. In any case, I think I want to make a reserve air tank out of this. The tank itself is in uh, very good condition. Um, you know, cosmetically there's not even a scratch on it. So uh, I think I want to start by getting this motor and all of this plastic shrouding out of the way and see what we have to work with. I unscrewed the regulator from the clamshell and this is the fitting that uh, feeds air to the uh, diaphragm and the switch to tell the uh, electronics to shut the motor off when the pressure reaches a certain amount. I have the pump and motor out. Um, we did that in the last video so I didn't show it here. And after the pump and motor are out, I basically just disconnected two ground wires and this whole plastic clamshell with uh, all the rest of the stuff comes out. I was looking at various ways to mount this regulator I think what I'm going to do is just have it supported by the pipe, um, which is normally how most air compressors are. So I'm going to take this flexible pipe out of here, put a two or three inch nipple on here with an elbow, screw this on, and possibly support this regulator with these tabs uh, with bolts in here so that it doesn't flex too much like this. Um, what do you think? Should we try that? Okay, let me see if I can get the this tube out of the tank and I'm also going to remove this check valve. There is no need for a check valve on a reserve tank. Um, also, these threads are not standard NPT pipe threads. They are something else. And um, everything I have, all my um, fittings and everything are NPT, so that's not going to work anyway. And here I thought I was all set up with all the right tools, but I had the wrong socket. Figures. Uh, God. Uh, that is tight. There we go. Maybe I'm just weak. So I have a whole bunch of fittings here that I bought. And my feeling here is, so everything is quarter inch NPT, except for the inlet over here, which is half inch NPT. I have a half to quarter inch adapter here and I think I will keep this as the air inlet. I mean it doesn't really matter. And I'm thinking that maybe I come up here, something like that, and then come over with a right angle something like that. And then I have the regulator here like that. So this regulator, we need to do some work on this. I need to plug this. That's where the uh, um, pressure sensor line came off of that goes to the switch so that when the tank reached a certain pressure, it would um, shut the, shut the uh, motor off. Um, then we have to pull this out and then swap this uh, pressure release valve from here to here. So uh, that's not as tight as I would have expected. Let me pull this off. It'd be easier for me to do it and then show you. While you were off, I was uh, 
getting some work done on this, I swapped the uh, pressure release uh, valve and I plugged this uh, opening here for the uh, pressure on off switch. And I think we are ready to install this pipe into the tank along with the right angle on top of that. So I actually prefer pipe dope on these fittings rather than Teflon tape. I know a lot of people use Teflon tape. They say it's, uh, you know, doesn't make such a big mess. Um, I think the pipe dope is a little easier to work with personally just because it doesn't, uh, you know, it's, it's malleable. It's very liquid. It doesn't uh, kind of jam up the threads like the, the uh, Teflon tape does. Um, again, it's personal preference. Either will work. Doesn't really matter what you use as long as it uh, seals the threads. Let's put it all together. Maybe we'll cue some work music. Okay, I think we're ready to try this. And if it ends up working and not leaking, I'll clean up all this pipe dope and we'll be done. Okay, the main compressor is pumped up. And um, here's the end to that. And here is the stub out. We've got air up to this point. I don't hear anything leaking. So why don't we... Good. We'll let that fill up. Everything has settled down. Um, this tank is full, up to 100 psi. The regulator says 100. This thing says like 95-ish or so. It's all right. It's about right. And I did discover one leak, one tiny leak. It's leaking right there. Can you hear it? So I'm going to tighten that fitting up and uh, then we should be good. All filled up again. Um, there's still a very small leak uh, from the valve. And um, I don't know, I guess it's just the... Uh, the valve itself, I probably am going to take it apart and uh, Teflon tape the, the joints instead of using pipe dope. Uh, this valve probably needs a little bit of, uh, you know, extra help on the, on the threads to get it to seal up. On the package, it says seals PT, PTFE, which is the Teflon tape, so I guess I'm going to take it apart and use Teflon tape on the uh, 
threads for the uh, ball joint or ball valve. In any case, nothing major. Uh, everything works as it should. The manifold is kind of floating out here. There's no support under this side. I don't know whether that's going to be a problem. The manifold looks like it's you know, cast aluminum or something like that. I don't know whether it could crack or not if you put, you know, hang something off of here, you know, a heavy air air hose or something like that. Not sure. I may create a support if I think it's necessary, but for now I think it's going to work just fine. I would call that a success. This tank is 26 gallons and my current compressor is also 26 gallons, so this is essentially doubled my capacity to 52 gallons. So I think this is going to be a useful little tank here. Useful little reserve tank. With that, I'd like to thank you for joining me, and if you like these videos, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. There should be a subscribe button down in the bottom right hand corner. Click that button and you'll be subscribed to my channel. Thanks, and I will see you next time.